Hi, my name is Gaurav Raj from All Eight Technologies. Today I'm going to talk about another features and the capabilities of Business Central. The release of Business Central online has brought in and added to multiple seamless integration capabilities. Integration with Office 365, integration with customer engagement, which is actually CRM, integration with power tools like Power BI, Power Apps and Flows. So today I'm going to take you through one of these capabilities, which is actually a, a user productivity tool and that is integration with Office 365 Outlook. So considering a scenario where your salespeople, your management is generally on the go when they are traveling, uh, talking to the people, talk, meeting the customers and at times they would not get chance to connect to the business central uh, system but they would have chance to go through their emails be it on mobile, be it on, on laptop or tablet. So what they are accessible to definitely is the emails. They are on top of their emails. However, what if they are supposed to re respond to the customer with something which is to be done in business center or your ERP system. So in that case, this particular feature is quite useful for them. Whenever they get an email from a customer, this Outlook integration with business central identifies which customer is it. So how good would that be if you get an email on your Outlook which is Office 65 Outlook and the system automatically tells you hey this particular email ID is for so and so contact or customer and the also identifies what item and how much quantity are they requesting for. So this request could be for a quotation, for an order or it could be for an invoice. So setting in Outlook, connecting to and opening up the business central right within the business central uh, or outlook system uh, outlook interface and generating a quotation or maybe creating a customer or creating a contact all those activities right within the outlook how much productivity enhancement would that be let's look at the system and i will take you through the whole process and the flow how does it work on business central with office 65 outlook So uh, what we see here is business central and the list of items which are there in the business central. Uh, this is a demo environment. So what you see is the demo uh, chair, desk and all that. On the other side, I have logged in into my Office 365 account, which is actually a salesperson's account. And, uh, and I see that uh, he's got a quotation request from Gaurav Raj uh, for 12 chairs and 12 desks for his office. And he's asking for the press code. Let's, let's see how would this salesperson uh, take advantage of this feature of Outlook integration on, uh, on Business Central. Uh, so what the person would, would want to do here is create the quotation uh, from, the, uh, from Outlook and uh, send it as a PDF to the customer. Now what is required uh, in general scenario is that this person would send a request to the customer service. Customer service might search for uh, this person's email ID if it is an existing customer. Um, if not, then you know create a contact or a customer and then create a code and then pass it on to the salesperson. The salesperson then sends it to the, uh, the customer or the prospect. Now, uh, as, a, uh, as a matter of fact, since we are using Business Central, uh, let's see how what difference does it uh, bring into our capabilities. Let me open that email in a bigger uh, screen and you see this Business Central here, uh, plugin. I click on this, uh, it basically starts opening the Business Central and what it will do is try and search for uh, the existing customer or a contact uh, with this email ID and what it found is that Aritum Corporation is linked uh, is basically the same uh, company so Gaurav Branch belongs to Aritum Corporation and there are already about uh, six codes running and two uh, orders running with this uh, prospect or, or a customer if you want we can go into uh, these tiles and look into that but uh, possibly I want to create a new one so what I do is create new now multiple options here Create a sales code you can directly create a sales order or in case you want to create a sales invoice directly that is also available now let me try to create a sales code because that is what the customer is asked for and uh, so what happens is that it it clearly uh, and uniquely identified what is the first item which is the Athens desk but for the other one 
though the quantity is uh, you know, basically resolved but the item code it could not resolve and it says resolve item uh, now uh, let's let's try to resolve this issue what is what does it mean possibly system found multiple items with the same uh, item description or item name so if you click on that it is displaying all the list of items or matching this uh, uh, name or criteria uh, let me pick the first one the palace chair in this case and uh, the next step is uh, i'll hit okay so what system would do it will create a sales quotation for me just like as we, i would be studying and working on business central a similar interface with all the features the price has been picked up the quantity has been picked up and what next is basically to to verify and validate the quantity and the rates and what we can do is um, we can basically send by email uh, to the prospect directly from here so that would uh, do away with all the need to uh, follow up with the customer service person at the, uh, the back office. And what you are doing is directly from your mobile or your tablet. The system would uh, draft an email uh, with a PDF attachment and the, and the body as well uh, with uh, uh, all the details and, and the email is ready to go. You can add your notes over here or I can, you can just press it over here. Now, the next thing what could happen is that the customer responds to you and says hey i have uh, got this uh, the quotation looks okay can you please send me a confirmed order uh, uh, or, or an order confirmation again what we can do is go back to business central without the need of uh, any help from the back office i will open business central here and i will look at what are the quotations which are running here um, already there in the system and then pick it from there so we have around seven sales code now and i think the mine uh, the last one would be 32100 uh, 32016 and then make order by the way at the same time the message popped up my inbox that I have received the quotation response to my quotation uh, from from the salesperson and and now uh, uh, the system is showing you the message that the inventory is not sufficient which is a standard message of a uh, business central so this is order I will everything looks okay I will release this and then uh, order confirmation so you see multiple options release reopen post post and send all these options are there so what I could do is, um, if the customer says send me the confirmed order, I can uh, email the confirmation, one option. Or else in the next stage, if customer says, okay, send me the invoice, if it is a service, you can possibly post uh, the order for invoice and send the customer the invoice, invoice directly from here. All these features uh, you can control and you can handle right from your inbox with, uh, with business central and while you are using uh, office 365 uh, outlook so this is how uh, business central uh, brings a lot of changes to the productivity and the capabilities that a salesperson uh, or a person uh, of similar uh, profile uh, can can make use of in the system uh, a lot of features more features uh, are available uh, which is like uh, if the if the contact is your vendor, then also you can create a purchase order. Uh, you can send the purchase order to the to the supplier, and and there it goes. So so this was about this uh, feature of Outlook integration um, uh, with uh, Business Central. Uh, to know more about the capabilities and the features which are available uh, in Business Central, uh, please subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel uh, and keep watching the videos. Thank you.